you know, I remember back when you had five and a quarter inch floppies. Well, now you have three and a half inch floppies and they're kind of becoming obsolete, but you still encounter them, especially if you're in the collegiate environment. My name's James, computer hardware training coordinator for interconnection, and I can show you how to install a three and a half inch floppy into your computer. Now the first thing you're going to do is buy your floppy drive. Second thing you want to do is make sure you have a place to install your floppy drive. Now some computers might have a little block off plate right here, a little plastic plate that you can just kind of take out so you can install the floppy drive. Others might have a little bezel that just has an opening for the top and a little button right here. Either way, you want to make sure you have a place to put that drive. In this particular computer, we have a cage that we have to install. First step will be removing that cage. First thing we're going to do is move the handle, thus releasing it and slide the cage out. As you can see, we have the holes right here to mount our floppy drive. Next, we take our floppy drive, insert it into the cage, lining up those holes, just like so. We take the screws, place them in. One thing to keep in mind when you're installing these screws is that this is very thin metal. Do not over tighten them. Now our floppy drive is installed in the cage and it's secure. Now we have to put the cage back in the machine. Make sure our latch is back. Push it forwards. Push our latch forwards. Locks in place. Now the floppy cable can easily be installed upside down. If you install it upside down, it's not going to work. Easy way to tell if you've accidentally done this is the light on the floppy drive will stay on. It'll just be solid on all the time. This doesn't hurt the floppy drive, it's just a floppy drive telling you you installed the cable upside down. Now we're going to install the floppy cable, being careful not to bend any of the pins. There we are. Now the power cable, notice the power cable looks like this. It has this little guide right here for that bottom plate. So we install this like so, being careful again not to bend any pins. My name is James and I just showed you how to install a floppy drive.